In this tutorial, I am going to discuss reverse level order traversal of a binary tree. So given a binary tree, we have to write a code to print its reverse level order traversal. So before uh, seeing the example of reverse level order traversal, let's first understand what is level order traversal. So in level order traversal, what we do? We print all the nodes of a current level before moving to a next level. So we start with root. So we start with root. So we print this node. Then we move to next level and print all the nodes present in this level. So it is six and five. Then we move to next level and print all the node present in this level. So it is four, three, two, one. So the output of level order traversal is seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So in level uh, reverse level order traversal, we do just the opposite of what level order traversal is so instead of starting from root we start from the last level so we first print all the node present in this level so it is 4 3 2 1 then we move to second last level and print all the nodes which is 6 5 and so on then this level 7 so this is the reverse level order traversal so uh, now Let's see how we can implement its solution. So suppose we, we want to print the reverse level order traversal of this binary tree. And to solve this problem, I am using two data structure, Q and stack. So the idea here is to do the level order traversal and instead of printing the node, let's add them in a stack. And once we're done with the traversal, we print all the values of a stack. So stack has the property, the element which we add last in a stack is the first element to be popped out. So using this property, we can do the reverse level order traversal. So let's uh, dry run this code and see how we uh, solve this problem. So I have declared two data structure, stack and queue. So stack hold the value of integer type and queue holds the value of tree node type and what we do is initially i added root node in a queue so let's add the root node in a queue and then here is the loop uh, so the condition is run this loop while the queue is not empty and the first statement is pull the data from the queue so pull removes the data from the queue so in Q, the element which we added first is the first element to be dequeued and in stack the element which we add added uh, add last is the first element to be popped out. So 7 is uh, dequeued and let's add them in a stack. So this uh, statement adds uh, this data in a stack. So let's add 7 in a stack. And then we add the right and left children of this node. So the right children of this root node 7 is 5. So let's add them. And in this condition, let's also add its left children. So its left children is 6. Now, again, we reach at this statement. So this is the loop. So now uh, we reach at this statement and this type the uh, node available is 5 so let's five uh, decode 5 from a queue and add 5 in a stack and let's see its right and left children so its right children is 1 and its left children is 2 so let's add them in a queue so this is the statement to do this operation and the next uh, node to be decode is 6 and let's add them in a stack and let's add its right and left children in a queue which is 3 and 4 now the next one is 1 and let's add them in a stack so this time there is no left and right children so we don't need to add anything in a queue so you can see if no data dot right is not equal to null then we need to add 
in a queue so if it's null then this condition won't execute i mean this statement won't execute sim similarly with this statement and so let's dequeue two and add them in a stack and similar case happens with two then three and four so let's add three and four and let's dequeue them from a queue and once all the element is dequeued from a queue so it's empty so we came out of this loop and the next statement is while a stack is not empty let's pop the element so a stack is last in first out data structures so the last element added in a stack is four so it is the first element to be popped out so four is popped out then three then two then one then six then five and then seven so this is the output we want for our reverse level order traversal so it is four three two one so first last level then the second last level and so on so so we have uh, we have print the reverse level order traversal of this binary tree so the time complexity of this approach is o n and its space complexity is also o n so basically its space complexity is o n for this stack and o n for this queue so it is o 2 n which is o n so so it's, it's a space and time complexity is o n so uh, this is the one way to print the reverse level order traversal of a binary tree so you can use another approach to solve this problem so that's it for this uh, video tutorial for more such programming video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video